Good morning, everybody. This is Tammy Lowe. I look like a wreck because I'm on my way to um, one of my volunteer things. But I wanted to let you know, and this is super quick because I'm literally like five minutes away, so it's going to be a short one. But I wanted to tell you, so I've been talking about um, in the comment sections and some of the things I've been at, I've been saying um, that some things are not true. So you might feel a certain way, but it's not true. You might feel like you're a failure, but it's not true. You might feel like, um, I don't know, like you're a terrible mother, but it's not true. Um, I mean, unless you are, but you're, I doubt it. Most people, most mothers and fathers are not terrible parents. So you might feel like you were, you were a terrible parent or you are a terrible parent or whatever, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's true. But definitely you are not a failure. And here's the thing, here's my point. I know, Dan, you just keep saying it over and over and over again, but I just wanna make sure you understand that your brain believes every single thing that you tell it. Oh my gosh, this is... here, there, there you go. Your brain believes everything that you tell it, whether it's true or not. And I'm gonna just tell you this quick experiment that was done, and you can try this with someone at your home if you want to. Um, what they have done, again, you're, it, it believes anything you tell it. If you say you're fat, it believes it. If you say you're skinny, it believes it. Whatever you tell it is what it believes. So the experiment was um, two people standing uh, like face to face and they have one person put their arms straight out in front of them, like shoulder height, like this, you know, shoulder height. And what they do is they have that person with their arms out, we have them say, I am strong, I am strong, I'm strong, like 10 times in a row. So I am strong, I am strong, I'm strong, again, 10 times. After they say that, they keep their arms out and the other person tries to push their arms down. And it's very difficult, if not impossible, to push their arms down. The same two people, right after that, they have the person that had put their arms out, put it out again, and repeat 10 times, I am weak, I am weak, I am weak, for 10 times. Then the other person tries to push their arms down and they can push them down super easy. And if you don't believe me, try this experiment with your friends, whatever, at your house, whatever. Um, even with your coworkers and say, hey, listen, I just wanna try this because Tam says this and I don't, I don't know if it's really true or not. But this is what they have found is that your brain believes what you tell it. So if you're feeling a certain way, you're feeling like you are a black or you feel like you aren't a blank, your brain is going to believe it. And a lot of times we focus on those negative things and we have to try, we have to, try to figure out what's in our brain. What is our brain telling us? That's what we do by journaling. If you're not going to journal, there you go, got reconnected. We can do it by journaling. And if you're not gonna journal um, to get all those words out that your brain's trying to tell you, then we also do it by, there we go. We also can go to a counselor who will help us talk it out. Um, but I don't think, when we're talking to another person, I don't think we get enough of our brain's activity actually out. Those thoughts, we get 60,000 thoughts a day at least 60,000 thoughts a day most of them are repeated so whatever you've been telling yourself you keep telling yourself over and over and over and over again but we get so distracted with social media music media um, regular media TV radio whatever staying busy kids work family whatever that um, we cannot listen to our brain and we cannot know what our brain is saying unless we allow it to talk to us and the way we, it talks to us is we journal we write and we write and we write and we write we set a timer I don't care how long it is five minutes even start with one minute if you have to start with little things and work your